This video is sponsored by Rocket, and these are about the Rocket AR glasses. Now, what these are, essentially, they're kind of like AR glasses, augmented reality. So what you're, it's not virtual reality. It's not like the big headset you put on and you're using these handheld controls in an immersive environment. This is basically like you put the glasses on and there's a big 120 inch screen in front of your face. Now, not quite what we mean there. It's not like you're sitting three feet away from the TV and you can't see the whole screen. The way I kind of like to talk about this is it's like you're sitting in a movie theater or it's like if you have a 120 inch screen in your living room and you're sitting about 10, 15 feet away. This isn't something where you're up close and personal, but you have a really big landscape that you can watch and you can work and you can do all sorts of things because this is good for gaming. It's good for watching videos, watching TV, getting some work done, doing some multitasking. And I happen to have mine paired with my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. It even works with DeX. Yes, whenever I plug these in, it connects to DeX and you basically have a portable desktop environment right in front of your eyes, which is really, really cool. And you can do all sorts of things like use the phone for a mouse. There's even a built-in app and it has native support through their AR app, the Rocket AR app. You can use YouTube on there and you can also use HBO, HBO Max. So there's a couple of different things here that I want to talk about today. We'll do like unboxing, take a look at what all is in here because one, it's pretty straightforward and simple. There's not a whole lot. You get the glasses, which look pretty cool, I think. And we're really at a nice place now with these because one, they're lightweight, they're durable, high quality. They've got dual speakers over the ears, so it's fairly discreet, not something that's going to be blaring audio out to everybody. Probably somebody next to you might hear it some, but it actually works pretty good. And then there's one cable to rule them all and in darkness bind them. Plugs in right here over the left ear and then you connect it to your source. So this is basically a display extension. You can use it with your phone, you can use it with your Nintendo Switch if you have the adapter. And there's this neat little hub adapter that they have right here, the Rocket Hub. Ta-da! Tiny little adapter. And what this does is allows you to plug in to two different things. You get to plug into a power source and you also get to plug it in to the video source. So you can charge and play at the same time if you're using your phone or you can plug it in and you can use it with like your Nintendo Switch, which is great. I've been doing it. I've been playing my Pokemon Violet on there and I really, really enjoy it. It's pretty darn neat. So not really a whole lot going on here when it comes to things plugged into it, which is great because the headset itself only weighs 83 grams. Now, I want to talk about this briefly because, so short little chemistry lesson here, there's 454 grams in a pound. So if these are 83, 8, 16, 24, 32, we're, we're less than a quarter of a pound. So they're super lightweight, lightweight even more so than some phones, which is pretty darn impressive because it's this apparatus that goes over your eyes. And then what's also nice is you can adjust it. Yes, if you have vision differences in your eyes, you can adjust both of the eyes so you can get the best display possible while you're using it and eliminate some of that blur, eliminate some of that focus stuff that you might have with some other products. So pretty cool stuff here. And I think that, well, it's a really fun device. I've been using it and it actually works really well. Helps out my marriage a lot because I stay up really late and my wife goes to bed pretty early, which means I can't have the TV on. I can't be laying in bed playing Xbox at midnight, one o'clock in the morning. So what do I do? I use these. <laughs> so what I've been doing is playing on my Nintendo Switch and I actually have my Bluetooth earbuds connected to my Nintendo Switch. And then I have these on for the display. So I'm playing silent. It's like silent run with the with submarines where you're underneath the water and you, nobody's hearing you and you're not breaking radio silence, all that stuff. It's really kind of a neat thing. So you have this big landscape on here. You can see in the glasses, you've got the big screen. It's immersive, beautiful OLED displays. So you've got two OLED individual displays one for each eye. So it basically has two little projectors for each eye and you get a great picture. So you get that, you get the sound experience. And if you don't want to have earbuds, you want to sit on the couch and play, you want to go somewhere else where you can just have a nice sound experience. You have the speakers right here over each ear. And then you've got some nice cushioning here on the little arms for the glasses. So you got pretty much everything you need right here. And like I said, 83 grams, very, very lightweight and then use the cable, plug it into whatever source that you want. And there's other accessories that you can get as well. So it's not just the hub. They also have other accessories like the cover glass where you can get different glass. So if you wanna take a look at how this looks right here, you can see darker up here, lighter down here. What that does is it really kind of allows you to stay in the game 
or in the video or in, in whatever you're doing with your glasses, but you can still kind of see what's going on. So your eyes kind of set right about in the middle. So you get darker part up here where the projector's at and lighter part down here. So you can still see what's going on in front of you. So it doesn't take you out of the environment. This is not like normal virtual reality glasses. It's not like some of the other headsets that you put on where everything's enclosed. You still have your peripheral vision. You still have your vision here where you can see in front of you. But if you want to change that experience, if you want a little bit more darkness, so a little bit better concentration and focus on what you're watching on the display, you can get their cover glass accessory, which has a super dark pair. So you've got the super dark ones. And then you've also got a little bit more light area here where you can see it's more clear on the bottom and then the solid bar at the top. And it comes with the screwdriver in here, everything that you need. So that way you can adjust it by yourself. And it's very easy. There's only actually two screws so there's one screw here and one screw over here underneath the arms for the glasses. You just take those, take those screws out, pop off the lens, put the new one on, you're good to go. And it has a nice little adjustable area here for the nose to sit as well, where it sits right on your nose. It works out nicely and it's something that I've really been enjoying using. So I know this is a sponsored video. It's not a true to life review video because this is something they're sponsoring me to make it. But I've been using them for a couple of weeks now. And it's something that I've been using for a lot of different stuff. I use it when I watch YouTube. I use it when I watch videos. I use it as an extension for my phone. And what's nice is they have an app. So they have their own app. It's the Rocket or Rokid AR app. And what you do in that app, it actually has a little display, has a little touchpad on there. <laughs> so you can use that to control the environment and see the immersive environment in front of your face. It's pretty neat. You can go on and you can select stuff, open apps, and you can do it that way. Or you can just straight up use it as an extension of the display on your phone or whatever you're using. You can even use it as a display out for your laptop or your computer, which is something I've done too because I play a lot of Dead by Daylight with my kids. So what I've done is to test it out is plug it into my laptop, use it as an external monitor, and then bam, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you can play computer video games, watch computer stuff straight straight on your glasses. And this is something that's nice because it doesn't have a built-in battery. And that's one thing that I really like. It uses the power from whatever power source is provided. So if you connect it to your phone, that's your power source. If you connect it to your computer, that's your power source. So if you're plugged into something that's plugged into the wall, you get indefinite power. If you're plugged into something like your phone, it's gonna be more taxing on the battery on your phone. But, ta-da, if you have the hub, then you can charge and you can use at the same time, which, gives you indefinite power. So you're not attached to a bunch of wires. You're not tethered to a bunch of cables. You don't have a big headset. It's not keeping you from the environment around you. And you can enjoy the immersive experience inside of here. And these things have been around for a while, but this one is the first one that's really caught my interest because it's lightweight, which is important for me because I personally have a lot of structural issues with my neck, herniated disc, things like that. I can't use a virtual reality headset. I can't use a lot of those things because they're too front heavy and they're just too heavy to wear on my head for long term. So this is a great alternative that allows me to do certain things, have that portability. You can use it on the airplane, like the movie says, planes, trains, and automobiles. You can use it pretty much wherever you want. You're not really limited by anything. And it's nice because one of the things that I hate the most when I travel, trying to sit there and use that little airplane tray to put my phone down on it and sit like this for three hours, four hours, five hours, eight hours, and entertain myself holding my phone like this, this is a great alternative because while you're sitting there, you can have it plugged into this and you can just enjoy sitting there comfortably, head up, use your neck rest, use your pillow, and watch your videos or whatever else you wanna do. Get some work done if you wanna go that route. You can play some games, plug it in your Nintendo Switch, watch some videos. It really is a nice thing that I've enjoyed using a lot. I'm fixing to leave here to go to CES in Las Vegas very shortly. These are going with me. <laughs> They're going with me on the plane and I'm gonna be using them and enjoying them at 35,000 feet while I probably play some more Nintendo because I got a lot more Pokemon I gotta catch. And on top of that, they're affordable. This isn't like a $1,000, $800 apparatus. MSRP is $399. And as of the making of this video, they actually have them on sale on Amazon. You can get them as cheap as $319, which makes them very competitive, very favorable, and use some of that extra money you're saving, definitely want to pick this up. The hub is essential because it allows you to do a lot of different things. It allows you to have that indefinite power source by plugging it into the wall or a battery pack, whatever. And then 
you can plug it into another display source. Like you can plug it into your phone, you can plug it into your Nintendo Switch. You have to have this for the Switch. Without it, it will not work. So if you're a Switch player and you want to be able to play the Switch on the AR glasses, then you definitely need that. So those are some important things to think about. The only thing that I would change if I could is I wish that you can see the little lenses here and it projects down here. I wish it went just a little bit lower based off your eye shape, based off of the size of your head, based off how the glasses fit. You may have to kind of maneuver them around to be able to see at all times the full picture on whatever you're viewing. This experience is going to be your mileage may vary. For me, I got to kind of ride it down a little bit further on my nose to make sure I get that full immersive see everything. You know, if I push it too high up, then it kind of cuts off a little bit of the image down at the bottom. So just kind of, you'll have to maneuver it and mess around with it to get it in the right spot for you and also adjust the little diopters here. So that way it goes from zero to negative five so you can fit it just like you do if you've got up close and personal glasses. So that way you can see it optimally and in focus. So that's all I've got on the Rocket AR glasses. Uh, big fan of them. Even though this is a sponsored video, I like them. And that's why I'm here to tell you about them because I think that it's something that you might like as well. It's very enjoyable, very entertaining, and I think it's priced well. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the comment section. I'll get back with you. You can check out the Rocket AR glasses on the Rocket website. Link in the description along with the link to the product if you want to check it out. And... As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.